I don't get it. Why would they be so bent on killing all humans? Who can say? Whatever the reason, this is dire news. We should let the others know ASAP. Let's call it in and head back to HQ for a full debrief. Roger that. And here I just started to hope we'd finally escaped all this. <laughs> More Xenos? What should we do? Stay back, Lee. What do you think, Rook? Uh, open the crate. So just leave it. I'll leave that. Yeah. Huh? Let's leave this stone unturned. Better safe, right? <laughs> Friends, I'll put the container. We'll listen to himself. Interesting. One of the vegetables is sentient. Talking potato? Huh. I wonder if it tastes different, too. I know what we're having for dinner tonight. You don't know it yet, new guy, but I'm a pretty mean cook. You are mean, mean and cruel. Tatsu, definitely not potato. Tatsu explained this to dumb and smelly Prone when they take Tatsu, but Prone not listen. Prone never listen. Oh, no, on blue day, bro first set sticky feet on Mira, especially Tatsu. Tatsu witnessed prone abuse firsthand. At this rate, entire Nopon race in danger. Yes, Nopon are endangered species. So really, friends have social responsibility to protect Tatsu from danger. Uh-huh. What do you think, Elma? Bake or fry? Wait a minute. The beings who captured you, big brutes in armor? Little pointy ears? Yes, prone! And there are more recent arrival here, is that right? They're not native to this planet? Not native, recent! If friends want more details, friends must promise to protect Tatsu. Only then will Tatsu talk. Right. Elma, you hold him. I'll him. Tatsu will talk! Tatsu will talk! Friends not get no fun sense of humor is all! <laughs> so if I understand correctly, this is your homework. The Nopon people are native to Mira. And then just recently, the prone show up and quickly hunt you to the edge of extinction. Is that right? Not just prone. Prone and their nasty, evil buddies. Lots and lots of them. Their buddies? You mean other alien races? Other hungry alien races. They all gang up on Nopon. They do horrible, terrible things to Nopon. Someday, Tatsu will turn tables and eat them for a change. I'm a show Tatsu you mean home no harm? Stare hungrily at Tatsu. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. I don't want to really help the joke, but. Then you'll help Tatsu? Protect Tatsu? Oh, happy day! It's settled then. In return, Tatsu will accompany friends back to their village. What do you think? Take him with us? He seems harmless enough. Andy be a good source of information on Mira and the Prone. All right. We can debrief him when we report to Commander Vandal. As long as he passes the quarantine scan, we can bring him back to New L.A. Right. Let's get that out of the way. All clear. So then Tatsu can join friends? Dance of joy. New friends are friendliest friends ever. I know. Tatsu has special thank you gifts for friends for saving Tatsu's life. Tatsu will lend it to friends for free. Lend? It's not a gift if you don't give it. G -g give it away? For always? For free? This would be insulting to friends and to Tatsu. No Nopon merchant worth his salt and pepper could do such a thing. Tatsu is grateful, but Tatsu not insane. 
What? It's insane to think if someone saves your life, you might actually show them some real... And he's not even listening. Friend, you ever get lost? Tired of bulky maps and flawed memory? Uh... Oh, this is going for a little bit. So, so this has got to be here. This got to be a better way. Not all who wonder are lost. Friend jokes with Tatsu. Joke funny what? now, but joke not so funny when friend wander into Lofordville Lake on accident. Huh? Presenting Follow Ball. Follow Ball is number one ultimate best super secret must have no pawn item. If friends get lost out in wild, friends just follow Ball of Light to safety. And now it's yours for free to borrow. Looks like a computer program. Really? Follow Ball? That's the best name you could come up with for your super special thing? <laughs> what would friend prefer? Fancy name no one understands so friend can feel smart? <laughs> now. Time for no pond dance of generosity. I don't know. Is that thing really gonna be all that useful? What if it's a trap or boom? It just blows up in our faces. Ah oh, yes, that reminds Tatsu. If Bottle Ball get damaged, Tatsu need to charge friends full price, plus restock fee. So much for dance of generosity. Uh oh! Look at that! Oh my God! Another arc. Advances for uh, several respects from Glen are there. Um, uh, presenting follow-ball. Yeah, yeah. So okay, I'll give Tatsu this. I'll give him this. <laughs> That's this is all he gets. Yeah, he gives you the follow-ball. Before you use the follow-ball, select mission uh, friend want uh, guidance for follow-ball is super uh, convenient for no pawn treasure, but also total junk if uh, no mission is selected. Follow ball sometimes to get lost, so try not to so try to go easy on follow ball. It's pretty smart for the most part. So you can um So any mission that you set as your main navigation, you can press R then X to have like a guidance system. It's almost like a GPS. It's kinda cool actually. And you be just basically follow the stream the stream of light. Look at that. And you can, okay, well, I'm not going to, like, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find it back here. Okay, again. All right, so, yeah, how about some sudden-ass levity after, you know, we just found out that the Pathfinders that we were looking for uh, were murdered. He's like, yeah, um, Tatsu, Tatsu, Tatsu. <laughs> They wanted to make another Riki so bad, I guess. I don't know. It, it's been a while since I've... I've get, d d does Tatsu even do anything useful? I, I guess we'll find that out later down. Like, later on down the road. Much, much later on down the road, if at all. But... I don't know. I'm not really crazy. I don't think he really... He's like, I don't know. It's like... I, 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 I don't want to, like, blow my load here too early. <clears throat> and that's gross, because that's gross, but... Yeah. I guess he's not really... I guess he's not really most, the most popular character. I don't really hate him, it's just I kind of like... Mm. But anyway... <clears throat> Uh, so, should we, yeah, report back to Commander Bandam at Play Barracks? Should we try a uh, fast travel there? Any more probe sites I can get? There's one more northeast of here. Although, I think, uh... Nah, let's just, uh... So... Uh, Commander Vandom 
is, uh, oh no, he's over here. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck is he? Damn, losing Nelson's team is a real blow. But the fact we're not the only visitors on this rock is even worse. They made it clear they want all humans dead. For all we know, they may be related to the forces that destroyed Earth and followed us here. Wonderful. I'll report this to Secretary Nagi, see if we can't bolster our defenses. Just one last thing. Yes. What the bloody hell is this dancing turnip doing here? He's actually a potato. Tatsu not turnip or potato. For last time, Tatsu is not food. Now, on behalf of Planet Mira, Tatsu welcome all Earth people and offer a friendly treaty of friendship. Yeah, right. Anyway, we were thinking he could be a good source of general intel about the planet. Exactly how useful that'll be remains to be seen. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Friend's totally safe now that Tatsu is in town. Tatsu, watch over and protect friends. Especially weak, pathetic Linley with her thin, bony wings. Wings? In my arms. Look who's talking. And who said anything about you coming with us? You can stay here, you greedy, annoying little cabbage. I'm sure there's a salad here that could use you. <laughs> Tatsu, stay here! Friends would leave Tatsu behind? It's for the best. You said yourself your people are endangered, and the Xenos that captured you might still be out there. Yes. You'll be safest here in the city. Mm, agreed. Friends will want Tatsu along. Friends need Tatsu along. How so? What? Well, that, that, of course. This planet have many helpful Nopon that Tatsu can talk to. Other Nopon can share information for friends. Hmm, that might be useful. That right, that right. Most Nopon not like Tatsu. Nopon can be shy. Nopon can be difficult. Most Nopon never trust friends, or even talk to friends. But Tatsu? Nopon love Tatsu. But Tatsu <laughs> needs smooth talk and winning personality to get friends good info. Hmm, the tater tot has a point. Uh-huh, more like an ulterior motive if you ask me. Tatsu perish the thought. Tatsu intentions are pure, Linley. Pure as snow. Linley intimidated by Tatsu's strength and smarts, but do not worry, Tatsu is true friend. Strength and smarts, huh? That's really not what I'm worried about here. All right, then it's settled. Small Fry here will accompany you three out in the field. After all, we can use all the info we can get. Seriously? We have to babysit this thing? You're the ones who picked him up. Besides, would you really want to leave him with another team? Maybe not. Unless we were invited to the meal, I mean. Is he already getting along like peas and carrots? He can be your charge, Lynn. Oh, come on, Commander! That's not funny! I've got my hands full out there! This is so unfair. Back me up here, would you, Elma? I'm sure Elma has no objections. Right. As you say, Commander. Done and done. Welcome to Blade, Tater. We'll be counting on you. Yes, sir! And it's a Tatsu. Oh, what? He's a Blade, too? One thing Tatsu forgot to mention. No pun on pacifists. So friends need to defend Tatsu. Keep extra super safe in any battle. Tatsu VIP diplomat, after all. What about Riki? surprised so much for him watching over and protecting us <sighs> uh, all right so mm, yeah that chap that's chapter three done I'm sorry I was like, I'm sorry I was like so so um I, I sound so indif indifferent uh, 20,000 Credits though, and a storage, another storage probe. 
Nelson's team was completely obliterated by hostile Xenos, but you did at least make contact, at least, with one friendly Xenoform, a no-pawn named Tatsu. <laughs> so, I'm, okay, I'll get off Tatsu for now. It's just... So, Rook, feel like you're starting to get the hang of things? So confidence, so hesitating. Yeah, I, I, th I guess I am. The hang of this LP, I guess. Of course you are. You've taken to it like a fish to water, just like Elma and the commander said you would. Just the same, let's review the key points, and I can fill in some extra details. Blade's top priority right now is to secure missing pieces of the life hold. You remember that much. Countless people are frozen in the life hold. It's the key to restoring humanity. Up until we ran into the prone, our biggest concern was that wild indigents would stumble on the life hold and damage it somehow. But now there's a more pressing threat. Intelligent alien races who are intentionally trying to destroy us. So, our search has new urgency. We need to find and retrieve all of the life hold ASAP. And the best way to do that is by expanding the reach of Frontier now. The more probes we can install, the wider we can scan, and the faster we can find bits of the life hold. So our primary focus going forward should be to travel around Mira installing data probes. As many as we can, as fast as we can. I can't stress enough how important this is. You still with me? Then a story Elmi, you understand. Look confused. Why, why? Okay, yeah, I, of course I understand. Good. Then let's move on to the other pressing threat that Blade has to deal with. Hostile indigens. There's no real delicate way to put this. Oh. Any wildlife that poses a clear threat must be eliminated. The life hold is our future, but we can't ignore the present. We still have our duty to keep New LA safe. And sometimes that duty requires enacting coordinated strikes to solve problems before they can do real harm. We are the newcomers here, it's true. And they're usually just out to defend their territory. But sometimes it really is them or us. And we have to make sure it's us. Don't get me wrong. It's not like we run out there and light up anything that moves. Only Blade HQ can choose targets. And they tend to keep them strictly to creatures that pose a significant threat to our survival. In order to contribute to this cause, operatives are asked to form into squads to take on special missions. These squad missions, as we call them, don't get posted to mission control like your other, more typical assignments. Rather, HQ transmits the details directly to all of us at the same time. Basically, we want as many people to know about them ASAP, so they can be taken care of ASAP. I'm sure you can imagine, but these missions aren't your run-of-the-mill little fetch quests. It's not the kind of stuff just one or two blades could handle on their own. That's why squads can have as many as 32 members. And it's why we ask members to sign up to a squad beforehand. We can't have blades playing musical chairs whenever this kind of emergency hits us. But just remember, Squad missions are not mandatory. You don't have to drop everything you're doing just to take one off. HQ has no way of knowing what every blade is up to when these missions arise. If you're busy with something else, they'll understand. They need to trust our collective judgment with these things, and well, so far, so good. And I think that about covers the basics, right? Search for the missing pieces of the life. Install data probes to expand FrontierNav. And 
take on squad missions when you can to keep us safe. Got all that? Squad missions. That's another thing. There are a lot of things in this game that... Um, oh, the game, the game sounds so... Okay, we're good. Show your complete boss. Um, now I understand. I'll explain it later. Good. We're counting on you. And briefing adjourned. Thank God. All right, well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Yeah, let's call it a night. Oh, Tatsu's so excited to sleep in real bed. Lily can show Tatsu to his room now. Oh, your room is right over there. Oh, it's the perfect size for Tatsu. Wait, what? Tatsu know what that is? That eater. We'll go in there to cool off. Eater. <laughs> I guess you are smarter than you look. Well, Tatsu's not one to brag, but wait a minute, Tatsu, see what Lily did there. I'm already tired of that song. <laughs> cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. No, no, it was. Actually, that wasn't the love. The hot temper joins up. Oh, my. Uh, Lynn's advice advancing story missions. At last, your blade adventure begins. Main story missions can be undertaken via the farm boy joins up. Wait, what? Hot temper farm boy? Oh, okay. But remember that they, they come with a specific. The tough guy joins up. <laughs> oh, but there's. But remember that they come with specific requirements like level and survey rate. Good luck, Rook. We're counting you to find the life of core. So, Blade Reports. Good job on your mission. The two new features are now available. The first is Blade Reports, which allow Blade, uh, Blade operatives to interact and share info. This uses feature to coordinate missions, give advice, or even, or even shower me with affection if you so desire. <laughs> what? So yeah, now you can scout blades. This allows a blade operative uh, to form another team to aid, or a blade operative from another team to aid you for a limited time. Simply access the blade scout console anytime you need an extra hand. Now all blade services are at your disposal. Oh my god, edit your greetings. Yeah, social greetings. Maybe if you're doing a squad mission. Classes and skills, which I already kind of explained when you hit rank 10, you might want to think about changing your classes. Yeah, don't be afraid to try something new. Oh my god, yo. You're a blade now, that, that implies great responsibility, but also great freedom. Um, yeah, Part members, who you take on your travels is generally up to you. Call on Lynn or myself anytime you like, we'll be in the barracks. Oh, well. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Uh, why are they giving you the greeting sharing? No, thank you. Um, yeah, so you can pick your squads here. Life hold squads is a single player experience. Conquest squad is multiplayer play. I guess uh, when said um, a squad can have, have as many as 32 people. Up to 32 people. And you can also play with your friends. You know, if any of your friend, if any of your friends still happen to be playing their Wii U in 2023, oh my God! Oh, we're here. The skeleton crew. If you all can get that open and combat on combat. She's Smash Brothers. Okay, no. <laughs> Why is she saying Smash Brothers? <laughs> but okay. Elmas Twin Swords are complemented by dual firearms, which he wields with deadly skill and a standard full, me full metal Jaguar style. She's a, yeah, she's a reclaimer too. Len is an outfitter. Not that it really means anything, only your division means something really. But you know. 
extend to scale tech and beyond. He has a bubble personal nature. Though small in frame, Lin will Lin wills a, ma- a massive shield to valiantly engage foes up close, a hallmark of her standard shield trooper style. Fire call, carnival, and drum roll. Yeah, you can also um. You also have Arena Gwen here. Uh, Arena is a psycho a psycho corruptor plus. I think that's uh. Mm. Using recovery techniques with areas of effect. Okay. What is she like? Um, is she like um, Uni from Xenoblade 3? Or I guess Uni is like her, <clears throat> her unique style is based on the Psycho Corruptor class. Yeah, here's Gwen too. If not the sharpest tool in it. Gwen uses standard samurai gunner, uh, samurai gunner style to fearlessly charge into the fray, often leaving his comrades to clean up, clean up the aftermath. <laughs> what the hell? Ultra slash and grenade bullets. And Doug here is a blast fencer. No predicament is too daunting for Doug, who uses a unique style based on the blast fencer class to do. Battle on the front lines. So is he another tank? Is that is that? A move? Oh man, that was a, a lot of info. A lot of fucking info, actually. Yeah, blade barracks. Da 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 da. Also got infinite missions here. I'm not sure if I should keep going here or what. <clears throat> uh. Barrett's customization. I think I'm going to break here, actually. Even though it's 1230. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to break here. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm actually going to do my Wii U like that. Alright, um, actually, you know what, y'all? Um, it's been about five minutes since I, like, took my quote-unquote break, but... Well, probably not that one, but I want to say that I'm actually going to stop recording here, all right, because my gamepad is low on battery <laughs> already, even though I've been playing for like two hours, and, uh, excuse me, and, um, and like I said, it's 12.30 at night, so I really should, like, um, just start working on adding this shit and, uh, maybe hitting the sack, so, um, yeah, yeah, um, Actually, 12 30 in the morning. Did I say? Oh, never no, mind. You know what I mean. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, thank y'all so much for watching this part of Xenoblade Chronicles 6. And um, next part, next time. Oh, man. I'm the only one in the party. That's right. Len and Elma are just wherever. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank y'all uh, for watching this part of Xenoblade Chronicles X. And, uh, hold on. And, um, yeah, next time we're just gonna do some random stuff, like, okay, this is, yeah, this is where the, the game really cuts you loose, like I said, like, this is where you're gonna have a lot more feeling, like, you just go, just go around, it's gonna be great. So, I'm gonna show you around next time. See ya! And, um, happy holidays, like, because, well, this will probably be on well after, because Christmas is Monday, right? <laughs> or sometime so yeah happy holidays even though you know what what whatever holiday you celebrate so yeah see y'all bye